Hey guys, what's up? Scottish Duck here once again. Okay. I feel like ranting! What are we gonna rant about? We're gonna rant about Ace Attorney. Okay then. So yeah. It's Ace Attorney's 10th anniversary this year, in 2012. Even though it came out in 2001. I can't be arse checking Wikipedia. I think it came out in 2001, maybe I'm wrong. But I don't know, Capcom made the fucking thing, so, you know, go them. Right, now, for the 10th anniversary, they've actually... You know what, guys? Is it just me, or is Phoenix Wright like Capcom's new mascot, okay? Capcom have basically killed off Mega Man, you know, by cancelling Mega Man Legends 3 and Mega Man Universe, and then by... <laughs> You guys seen the Tekken versus a uh, what was it a Street Fighter versus Tekken trailer with Mega Man in it? That's a great reason to buy the PS3 version, isn't it? Oh dear God, it looks like oh, I laughed so hard when I saw that. It was so oh my God, really. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't seen it, by all means, if you want to laugh, go look it up. All right? No. So yeah. And they're really, really, really pushing Ace Attorney. You know, there's the um, crossover game with Professor Layton, which hopefully Level 5 is going to bring to us. You know, we can't rely on Capcom for shit in that regard. There's the film, you know, which is uh, coming out, the Ace Attorney film. I can't, I can't wait to see that. You know, I'm totally going to watch it day one when a sub, sub version comes out, of course. And then there's the fact that Ace Attorney was highly featured in Ultimate, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, which about five people bought. So, yeah, they're really, really pushing them. And now that it's his 10th anniversary, uh, we're getting two games. We're getting um, Ace Attorney 5, as it's called in Japan, because Apollo Justice is called... Um... You know what? Hold on. I really gotta stop doing this. I really should be more prepared. Oh, well, don't worry. They're all right next to each other, you know, for quick, quick and easy reference, you know. The, uh... Hold on, let me get them in order here. Yeah, the Ace Attorney games are actually all numbered in Japan, you know, with Apollo Justice being um, Ace Attorney uh, 4. They're called a Gaku Saiban, I think it's called. So yeah, but anyway, Ace Attorney 5 has been released. Now, uh, I would have thought that they told they kind of abandoned the concept, because they went on to the Ace Attorney uh, Miles Edgeworth investigation games, you know. But no, they're going back to, you know, traditional Ace Attorney. Uh, I don't know, I've got quite a lot to talk about, I'm just trying to think what to say first. Well, first of all, the character, right? If they go back to Phoenix Wright, awesome, I would so be for that. I really don't want to see Apollo Justice. I don't really hate Apollo Justice, but I appreciate the fact that Capcom, you know, tried to sweep it under the rug. You know, Apollo Justice, who the fuck's that? We don't know Apollo Justice, um, because he was, comp just compared to Phoenix Wright, it was a bit, eh, and also what they did to Phoenix Wright in that series, but anyway, just play the game, you probably have a different opinion, if you've not played the game for yourself, make your own judgement, blah blah blah, it just wasn't for me, okay? So yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like them to go back to Apollo Justice, I would like them, I would actually just like them to pretend that it never really happened. But what I really wouldn't mind is, um, they probably won't do this, but I totally wouldn't mind, like, a whole new series of characters, you know? Maybe in the, set in the same universe and little nods here and there, but just a whole new cast, you know? Uh, Apollo Justice kind of did that, but there was enough, like, familiar faces to know you were playing Ace Attorney games, but I wouldn't mind a total reading. Maybe even, like, a female lawyer that you play as, you know? Because you got to play as a Mia, uh, for those of you who've played it. Uh, you got to play as hard for a bit in the uh, Trials and Tribulations. There she is in the back there. So, I think it would be interesting to have, like, a wee female uh, lawyer to play, play as, you know. That would that would be interesting to me. Uh, but they probably won't do that because, you know, Capcom likes the idea of uh, you having a little uh, female sidekick with you at all times. Did you ever notice that? In all the Ace Attorney games, you've always got, like, a female younger sidekick with you. So, yeah, but we'll see, we'll see, I suppose, but... Um, as for platform, it's probably going to be 3DS, but they're kind of pushing the concept of the iPhone the new, so it'll probably get ported to, like, um, smartphones and what have you. Um, 
I don't think the game's going to be as good as Phoenix Wright because, you know, Shu Takumi, the, the, the creator of Phoenix Wright, he's left the company. Well, he's not left Capcom, but he's, he makes other things other than Ace Attorney. Uh, but that doesn't bug me, you know. I like Ace Attorney invest, Investigations with Miles Edgeworth. And Apollo Justice was good for what it was, I guess. So, I, I really don't hate Apollo Justice. I just didn't like what they did with the franchise, that's all. Um... But uh, the big question is, will Capcom continue their, you know, will they keep doing that and not bring the game out, in, you know, in English? I really won't be surprised if they do, if they don't, really. It's just, they're such, they're being such dickwads about everything they do. It's, I don't even, I don't even care about Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I didn't buy that shit. I didn't care about the friggin' charging them for cheat codes in Dead Rising 2. I didn't buy that shit. And I'm not really a big Mega Man fan, so I'm not bothered about that either. But, Ace Attorney is undeniably my favourite franchise from Capcom. Even though I'm relatively new to it, I can easily say that it's the best thing I've played from that company. And if they fuck it up, they're, if they're fucking with Ace Attorney... That's when I get really pissed at Capcom, you know. I know, like, there's Capcom. It's it's cool to hate Capcom at the moment. And because they're just such a big colossal pile of fail right now. For a number of reasons. And shut up, Skype. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully they'll bring it outside of Japan. But I'm not going to be surprised. But just do it, Capcom. All right, just... And while you're at it, they, the sequel to Ace Attorney Investigations, right? I like that game. You're totally not going to do it, but... You can have my money, okay? <laughs> yeah. Right. Anyway, that's me done ranting about um, Ace Attorney uh, 5. Now we'll go on to the... Uh, quite another little cool thing. A HD compilation of uh, the first three Ace Attorney games for um, iPhone and iPad and iPod Touch. You got one. Um, but it sounds pretty cool. You know, I've seen a couple of... I've seen a screenshot. You know, all the artwork's uh, redone. The resolution is up real high. And, yeah, that looks like it's just going to be a bit... Eh, but looks real nice. I'll I'll totally buy it. Even though I already have Ace Attorney on my uh, iPod Touch, you know, I went out and bought that. And the hilarious thing is, Capcom's not going to introduce some scheme where if, if you bought the first Ace Attorney on... Uh, the iPod or the iPhone or whatever, you know, they're gonna get, they'll give you like a discount on the, uh, on the HD trilogy. There's no way they're gonna do that. There is no way, even if it was like fifty pence or something or some minuscule amount that they would t slash off the price if you bought the original on the App Store. You know, they're not gonna do that because Capcom are a bunch of dickwads. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'm totally looking forward to that. You know, it's. I'll buy it, you know, I'll always buy every version, and hopefully they won't be going to charge you extra money to play the Rise of the Ashes expansion. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be hilarious? Um, and who knows, maybe Capcom will also be cool again and maybe add, like, an extra case to the HD collection, kind of like what they did with the, uh, uh, the D when they brought the first game onto the DS, they added the Rise of Ashes uh, case, you know, maybe, maybe they'll do one an exclusive one for that. I don't know, I can dream. It's probably not going to happen, but yeah, whatever. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I want to say. I'm looking forward to both of those games that they announced today, provided that they release them in fucking English. Uh, stop being dicks, Capcom, please. Gone. Just gone. Right, that's right, that's pretty much it, guys, yeah. Nothing else to say. I'm looking forward to them, and I hope they come out over here. So yeah, see you after, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.